Hi everyone, welcome to Clonus. This is Dr. Ramakrishna, a recap chef scientist working on the air layering propagation. In the video series of the science behind air layering, today we are going to learn about how to choose right inverts on the scam for successful air layering. In the last video, we learned about how to choose right stem for air layering. Now, in this video, we are going to learn about what is node, how to choose right node, and why it is important for successful air layering. What is a node? Right. Node is a point or a place on a stem where the leaves, shoots, branches, and roots emerges. It is very important because we are applying a rooting hormone at the node for adventitious roots formation in the air layering and cuttings. Now we have to understand about node and its cell composition, right? So if you look at this, okay, this is the okay, one of the node area where we are going to be focused about. Okay. This is the node area where mainly the merismatic cells will be there. Okay. These cells will actively divide, forms the new tissues. And these cells only decides the whether the suit or root formation in the air layering. So these nodes also contains the parenchyma cells, okay, which supports the merismatic cells for water and nutrient supply. Nodes also have the high amyl activity of natural auxins like indole 3 butyric acid and indole 3 acetic acid. Right? The auxins concentration at the node will decide the whether the root or suit formation. So this is where we are going to apply the external rooting hormones like Cronus just with the different PPM. So this determines the, the merismatic cells, convert them into roots instead of shoots, branches and leaves. So these nodes also contain the vascular connections. This acts like a pipeline which carries water, nutrients, hormones and auxins for the root development in the air layering propagation. How to choose the nodes for air layering? Choosing a right node means selecting a spot where leaves, shoots, branches are emerging. How many minimum number of nodes required for successful air layering? Choosing at least one node is also enough, but choosing multiple nodes of minimum two to three will be increases the success rate of air layering. What if we didn't find any node on the selected stem? In some plant species, have the smooth and uninterrupted stems and we are unable to find visible node areas. So how do we approach air layering in this case? If chosen stem lack of visible nodes, you can still perform air layering on it by targeting it in both points, look for leaf scars, branching points or slight stem swellings. This adds like nodes but we need to apply higher PKM hormone to stimulate root formation. Root formation takes place longer time with lower success rate. Choosing the right node is completed. Now we have to make the selected node ready for better rooting hormone absorption. For that, we have to remove the uppermost bark area of node. You see this brown layer? We have to gently scratch it off before applying rooting hormone. In this way, we are preparing node ready for successful air layering. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my work, please like, share, subscribe to my channel. If you have any doubts and queries, please comment in the comment section.